right here we have got all the elements for what should be a really interesting picture we've got beach huts which says seaside weekend off we've got a nice little audi car sitting here we've got a tree we've got a bit of an interesting background even though the sky's a bit cloudy It'd be nicer if it was blue <coughs> but this composition isn't working is it it's kind of messy uncomfortable and untidy so how do we go about cleaning it up just using those movements of tilting up and down moving up and down and shifting from side to side and twisting the camera we're going to shift the elements around the first big problem is over here it's this blue bin it's a horrible looking thing so we need to get rid of it now i can't just pick it up and hurl it over the head because i'll get in loads of trouble what we need to do is to hide it what are we going to do how are we going to do that how are we going to hide a bin we're going to hide it behind the car if Janie starts to make very gentle movements to her right you can see that that gap between the bin and the car is getting narrower and narrower i'm keeping out the shot so you can watch it happen <clears throat> in a moment it'll disappear completely behind the car as you can see that's looking better already isn't it now coming back into the picture we've got the horizon which is running pretty much through here somewhere through the back window of the car i'm not seeing anything wrong with that it's an interesting horizon but as a little experiment let's see what it would look like if we lost that horizon if we either put it above the car or below the car do you remember how you do that you move horizons by raising and lowering the camera so first off let's put the horizon above the car and to do that we need to raise the camera up in the air this might be a bit jerky because Jane's not very tall and she's lifting quite a heavy camera I'm going to take a picture of her doing it so you can see what she's struggling to do to get that shot let me get out of it as you can see the horizon is now going above the roof of the car and we've lost the bin so that is a lot better but it's a little bit disappointing because the top of this tree here is being chopped off i find that really really annoying so how do we get the tree back into the shot and not have the horizon running through the back of the window it's another up and down movement isn't it you remember the one down and tilt so as janie moves the camera down and gets lower let me get out the shot so you can watch that horizon starting to go down below the car and disappear and as she tilts the camera up you can see that's much nicer isn't it the horizon has now disappeared completely behind the car it's kind of down here somewhere and what we're looking at are these sort of dunes little hillocky things going off into the distance we've got the tree that's that's looking nice in the shot it's it's kind of filling the frame the car's nice and dominant the only really irritating thing is that tree is growing out of the car's bonnet wing mirror somewhere around here the trunk is sticking out of the car that's not very nice is it how are we going to do that well now we've got to move that tree we need to create a gap between the front of the car here and that tree trunk which is sticking up somewhere in this area here we want to move the tree over here it's another sideways movement i'm just going to take a quick picture so you can see where jane is to get that shot which is including the top of the tree so now let's start to create a gap between the front of the car and that tree and to do it Jane's going to move that way whilst keeping the camera low down down Janie down it's really hard isn't it she's walking along in this weird sort of a crouch let me get out the shot so just look at that for a moment now we've got the tree up in the corner we've got the car it's all really lovely isn't it but there's something missing isn't there what happened to our beach huts well we did the side to side movement didn't we now we need to rotate the camera that way just a little bit to make those gaps at the side change there's a gap beyond this bush over here which isn't very useful so we want to get rid of that and bring in the beach hut so this bit of shrub here is just on the edge of the shot so as Janie turns the camera that sort of a motion towards the beach huts I'll get out the shot they have come back in as you can see that is a much more pleasing composition the car is just sort of framed between the little shrub and the tree and the beach huts are going off into the distance to give it a bit of a dynamic 
And all of that, every last piece of this composition, of this picture, if we flick between this one and the first one when we set up here, there's an enormous difference. Yet we have not moved anything. We haven't changed the camera setting. All we've done is tilt the camera up or down, or twist it side to side, or go up and down with it. These, this is how you align elements of your pictures to get an interesting composition. Get out there and play with it, and don't worry if people laugh at you.